emerging technologies have always had their own unique boom and bust cycles. There used to be 80 autom automobile companies in the first half of the 20th century, and then there were three. There used to be 50 makers of uh, personal computers, and then there were, I don't know how many, just a few. Uh, so generally, when an industry or a technology takes off, uh, the Internet's a great example. There's lots of people out there attracting lots of capital, and then at the end, it really narrows down to a couple of winners. Now, if you uh, are one of those winners, that's great, but also many times those winners turn out to become winners because they acquire their competition. And so even if you're not, if, even if you're one of the investors who's not one of the winners, even if you weren't the first guy in Google, uh, you know, perhaps you have made some investments in companies that th they acquired or, or, you know, nobody ever heard of you, so you made, so, so, but you still made money. So there is a subset of investors out there, uh, both institutional and individual, who get that and who uh, are comfortable with that, that cycle. And uh, while everybody's poorer these days, uh, there's still plenty of people out there. And 